My name's Ian Quinn, and I'm the stunt coordinator for Heroes. I've been doing this for about 15 years, doing stunts for quite a bit of the time, and in the last uh, number of years, probably five or six years, uh, coordinating. So. Quiet all around, we're rolling. Each episode has some stunt work in it uh, to one degree or another. Uh, all of our characters uh, with their special powers, we have to find some way to visually demonstrate those powers uh, to the audience. And a lot of that involves doing some, some form of stunt or another. She loves this. So <laughs> I taught her well. <laughs> Still rolling? Set. You set, Nate? Set. Set. Ah! It would be a shame to send you back to the congressman covered in bruises. Ron, what are you going to tell your son? Huh? How are you going to explain to your son what happened to you when you didn't honor your agreement? You think about that, Nikki. Nikki's not here right now. time I, I got my first draft of the pilot, I said, this is this is a fantastic opportunity. What a great show. And action. I wanted to be close to the action the way it was set up, so I took the part of the firefighter that put out uh, uh, Hayden, uh, when she came here, actually her stunt double did that part. Take a breath, take a breath. You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Easy, easy, Fine. easy. Fine. Okay, No burns. I have to get in front of the camera once in a while myself, so I still enjoy doing that. On behalf of the Odessa Fire Department, I'd like to congratulate you as an honorary firefighter. <laughs> Most of my actors are chomping at the bit to do their own stunts. Don't try this at home. We do try to use the actors as much as possible in, in doing the stunts. It gives us a lot of realism. We weigh the safety factor and the risk factor for doing the stunts. and. Uh, uh, a lot of them do great fight scenes, and we get them in the wires and let them do a lot of it uh, themselves. It brings a lot of realism to, to the show. It's a lot of fun. I mean, you look, you see Ian Quinn, our stunt man up there, uh, extraordinaire. Uh, he's doing uh, all the prep work for me, and I get up, I get the glory. I get to hang and get in the, in the shot uh, that he's designed. It's, it's a lot of fun these days. It's, it's a lot of work, but it, the payoff is huge, because it's what you see. The special effects are great. Hey, Mark, really funny. This is a scene where a car that Adrian, character Nathan, and his wife, the character Heidi, are traveling down a kind of a deserted uh, highway, and the bad guys come up from behind in a, a ubiquitous black SUV, and they will be smashing into the back of the car, trying to drive the car off of the highway. Nathan, because of his flying ability, flies up out of the car, and he's able to witness the whole accident as it takes place underneath him. So here today on a green screen, we put Nathan on a wire and have a special harness for him that he flies up in the air and is able to do that. And then we drop him uh, a short distance and, and catch him before he hits the, the pads on the floor. Hey! Then we're gonna go into the cars here. And so we'll be able to manipulate the cars right here on the stage and have them lined up and bumping each other. And then they'll put the the background in and afterwards. And we'll do it practically then. And so we'll have stunt drivers in the cars smash into the, the Jaguar with the SUV. And then it'll be towed into a bunch of water barrels and with explosive charges put in them. And it's gonna be quite a, <laughs> quite, it'll be quite a show at that point. Get your mind straight. I have followed you around and listened to your half-assed wisdom. You don't have any answers. 
Okay, you don't know anything. You are afraid of the world. You have to listen to me. And I'm tired of you telling me what I have to do. I don't have to do anything. Except fly. Not quite a falling, not quite a flying. Just kind of, a, we'll call it a going over the edge scene. It's a going over the edge scene. No, I am tired of you telling me what I have to do. I don't have to do anything. Except fly. Cut. It's always totally safe, and they let me do as much as they'll allow me to do. Um, I know I'd like to do more. Like, when we have, like, all the stuff going off of a 30-story building, I'm like, hey, can I? And they're like, no, 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 insurance. And I'm like, okay, great. I don't have to do anything. Except fly. <laughs> I was, I was really sore that day. It's all in a day's work. Hey, Mark. Action. Yeah. Good. Well, in this scene right here, it's pretty much a training montage. So you could put on, you know, you know, the Rocky theme or, you know, that theme from Karate Kid. You know, you could have all that. This is a big training montage. This is so much fun to be able to, you know, play with swords and, you know, do all this choreographed sword fighting. That's, that's a lot of fun. I mean, that's, these are the things that you love to do as an actor, and it's, and it's great. Yeah! I actually studied kendo about maybe, a, I think, six, seven years. I got a first-degree black belt equivalent, which is a shodan, we call it. And uh, it's, But that's been so long ago. I needed some... We uh, brushed up a little bit. We took some uh, makeup lessons and pickup lessons, and, uh, and then we're here where we are. Hey. This, 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 this. I tried that for the first time with uh, the stunt man, and you know I had the uh, aluminum sword, and I got it real close to the uh, to to his throat. And the next try, I noticed he had that wooden sword right next to his neck. <laughs> he didn't trust me. Well, when we were practicing, I think we were trying to figure out the choreography, uh, I bopped the uh, you know, stunt person's <laughs> head by accident with a wooden... Luckily, he was okay. It was very light, but it was like, oops! So that, that was probably my closest mishaps. Days when, when there's a lot of fight stuff require a lot more technical preparation. And action. Days when we're doing this kind of stuff tend to be a little, uh, I find that I prepare for them differently. I prepare to sustain my energy longer because uh, there's a lot more downtime, there's a lot more, um, there's a lot more waiting uh, on these days. And then when we're working, the work isn't so moment to moment as much as it is like beat to beat, you know what I mean? Like it's not the connection between us so much as it's the positioning between us and then I fly across the room and then we cut because that's the only piece that we need. So it's just different, equally interesting and, uh, and ultimately equally rewarding, but definitely a different kind of preparation. You fall from the ceiling on the floor, which is right down where that line is. And by me, you mean somebody, not me. I mean you. <laughs> oh, oh, you didn't know that? No. Where's the stunt double? Hey, I'm, I'm going to make it today. So. <laughs> Fun isn't the word I would use. Um, it's, uh, it's about 45 minutes of makeup for all the, the bruising and everything. And um, I uh, have spent the majority of the last five days of work hanging from a ceiling um, in a harness in my underwear. Um, so if that's fun for you, yes, it's been a blast. Um, but no, it's, it's, listen, um, anytime you get to do something different at work, uh, it's, it's, it's great. Oh no, I'm not done with him yet. They challenge us every week and the scripts are fantastic, but you never know what the <laughs> you never know what they're gonna come up with, and I think, think sometimes they don't know, so that's what keeps it really interesting.